In the opening scene, it is the Christmas season, and everywhere is lit up with Christmas decorations. Kenzie rushes to prepare her breakfast and feed her fish before packing all her books and heading to the office. Getting to the office, she asks the man who is about to enter the door, Ben, to hold the door for her because her hands are full. He gladly opens and holds the door for her. After seeing her face and how beautiful she is, he volunteers to press the lift for her. He also helps her select the floor she is going to, which is where he finds out she is going to WKPC, his favorite station. Kenzie appreciates his help, but he is glad to be offering all the kind gestures. Kenzie enters her office, and she meets Maya, who is her colleague and her friend. Maya asks about the show for the day, but Kenzie has no idea because Brooke, who is the presenter, is still improvising and not ready to listen to anyone. Maya suggests that Brooke should tell her listener about her separation from her husband. But Kenzie warns her to stop saying that because she only told her out of trust and no one can hear about it. Ben is having coffee and his colleague Liam shows up and asks him about his last date, only to realize he did not enjoy the date despite the status of the lady. Ben explains that there was no chemistry between him and the lady. Frustrated, his friends feel he has a problem with relationships. So he tells him to submit his financial report before leaving. Brooke begins the show and receives questions from her listeners. Just then, their boss, Mark, shows up beside Kenzie and asks her to come to his office after the show. Kenzie feels something is wrong, but Mark assures her that he only wants to run something by her. Brooke sees them talking, but cannot hear what they are saying. She then calls the attention of Kenzie back to the calls to continue the show. After the show, Kenzie goes to meet Mark as requested. He first tries to make her relax by offering her several things that will make her comfortable before sharing the news. He explains that the show has not been good for a while and they need to find a way to lighten things up. He further explains how Brooke usually connects with her friends before giving them advice. But in recent times, she has not been doing that properly. He uses the opportunity to ask Kenzie if there is something wrong with Brooke that they need to attend to. But since it is not in her place to share the news of Brooke's separation from her husband, Kenzie decides to keep mum. He then shares that they need to revive the show before Christmas. And if they fail to do that, the show will be cut out. Hearing that, Kenzie assures him that she will find a solution to the issue. Mark promises to assist her in finding a solution because he does not want to cut out two of his favorite staff and his wife's favorite show. Leaving Mark's office, Kenzie and Maya go for lunch before coming back to discuss how to save their jobs with Brooke. She enters her office and meets her looking at a picture of herself with her family. Kenzie explains the situation to her, but all Brooke is bothered about is that Kenzie is calling the show their show instead of calling it her show. She seems to be sure that their jobs are not in trouble because she has different offers from other stations. But Kenzie explains to her that it has been over a year since she got her last offer. So, she suggests that Brooke come clean to her audience about her separation from her husband. However, Brooke refuses because she feels people will not understand. They decide to revisit the discussion after lunch, as they both cannot decide what to do. Meanwhile, Ben gets a visit from Tawny, who tells him about the wine bar opening invitation they got, and she will like Ben, who is her best hand on it. She also tells him of the possible promotion that might be coming his way very soon and urges him to keep doing great work. Maya and Kenzie are having lunch, and Maya is drooling over one of the guys in the cafe. She uses a fake name for him, making her friend urge her to walk up to him and talk to him. But she refuses. They talk about the show, and Maya explains that the show has been bad on social media because all she has been doing is damage control, which Kenzie does not know about. She, however, convinces Kenzie that she is the one who can fix it. Just then, Liam, the guy Maya has been drooling over, 
mistakenly pours his drink onto his body and table. Kenzie advises her friend to use the opportunity to deliver some napkins to him, but she refuses. This does not stop her, as she calls out to him if he needs some napkins and pushes Maya to deliver the napkins to him. Liam goes back to the office with a smile. He goes to Ben to ask for the expense report, and while handling it for him, he notices his smile. Liam explains what happened and the girl he met. Ben is hoping it is not the same lady from WKPC, but he is not ready to give Liam any clue. Instead, he heads to the internet to search for Maya WKPC and gets to know that Maya is not the same as the lady he likes, which makes him breathe a sigh of relief. Kenzie gets to Brooke's office and things take a new turn as she sees Todd's profile on an online dating site this makes her angry as she steps out angrily to eat, even though she had intended to fast earlier. Kenzie goes to her office, thinking about what to do with Brooke. While she is thinking, Maya comes in to give her the details of her discussion with Liam. She then sees what her friend is doing, and even though it has not been going well, she encourages her. They talk about dates, and Maya suggests she set Kenzie up for blind dates. This leads to an idea for the show, as setting up a date for Brooke on the show will be interesting. They believe the idea is great and decide to look for a way to make her go along with it. Later in the day, while Kenzie is going home, she opens the door with her back, and Ben's back is also turned to the door because he is on a call. This makes the both of them collide and all the stuff with Kenzie and Ben fall to the floor. They both apologize to one another as they both pack what is on the floor. He sees that she works with Brooke, and this sparks a discussion between them. They introduce themselves and what they do to one another before leaving one another. The next day, while Kenzie is working, she decides to put a call through to Ben after seeing one of his documents with her. It includes his number. He, on the other hand, is already looking for it and is glad when he receives a call from her, explaining that it is with her. They fix an appointment to meet in the afternoon when he will collect it. After the call, Kenzie rushes to the studio, as it is almost time for the show. Getting to the studio, Brooke explains that she has been thinking about what she said. She believes Kenzie is right and wants to know the plans he has to save their show. Kenzie then suggests she should tell people about her separation but yet again, she is not having it. Kenzie explains that her plan is for her to have a series of blind dates on air. Fortunately, she loves the plan because it will be like a payback to her husband, who is already on the online dating site. They begin the show with their new strategy. Mark is in his office listening to the show, while Todd is also listening to the show at home. The show starts getting positive reviews on social media for Brooke's honesty, and people excitedly anticipate the blind date. Kenzie takes the details of people for the blind date as the show continues. After the show, Mark commends the excellent work because the show has the highest rating for the quarter, and he promises to support Kenzie with whatever resources she needs. When Brooke steps aside to receive the call, Mark reveals that he does not want the rating to be a fluke so the date they will select for Brooke will be based on the person with the highest rating from the audience. He wants Kenzie to work her magic to make Brooke fall in love on the air. Meanwhile, Todd is on the call with Brooke and wonders why she is going on a blind date, because they agree they will wait. She doesn't buy his excuses. So, she ends the call on him because she feels he is playing the blame game. He does not understand what is going on as he looks confused. Kenzie is talking with Brooke about how she will work to make sure she finds love through the show again. She sounds too excited about the situation. Brooke, on the other hand, is still emotionally attached to her husband and is just doing all this to get revenge and spite him. In the next scene, Ben is waiting for Kenzie. She comes outside to give him his document. He invites her to one of his restaurant food tastings this appears to be an indirect way of asking her out on a date, and she loves it. When he leaves, Maya asks about him. 
She also tells Kenzie to invite him on a date to their Christmas Eve party, but she declines. Liam joins them and offers Maya a drink, even though he does not know her choice beforehand. He gives her the drink and leaves. Upon tasting it, Maya does not like it at all. Later, we see Kenzie going through the list of people who have submitted proposals for Brooke's date, and she starts screening them. Brooke, on the other hand, is on call with her daughter, who is coming in the next few days, and is hoping to have dinner with both parents. Brooke promises to call her husband to figure it out. After the call, she sends a message to Todd regarding their daughter's request. Kenzie starts interviewing guys for the date, but she does not like any one of them. The last person refused to talk, despite all the questions she was asking him. Just when she decides to get something to drink, Ben shows up and decides to assist her. Going back to the man, Ben starts talking. The man runs off, and it seems as if Ben saved the day. After that, they take a walk. They talk about their favorite food, and Ben realizes that instead of sending flowers to Kenzie, it is preferable to send bagels. They both look forward to their date the next day. While Kenzie works on the date for Brooke later at night, she receives a text from Ben. He sends her a photo of people with her best food that reminds him of her, and this brings a smile to her face. The show starts the next day, and Brooke checks if her husband has responded to her message, which he has not. Kenzie notices that something is wrong. The show goes live, and so does the blind date. Afterward, Brooke tells Kenzie to go ahead with her plans while she steps out to do something. She also told her to push their content meeting to 6 p.m. After she leaves, Kenzie checks her phone, which reminds her that she had a date with Ben by 7 p.m. Ben, on the other hand, is in a good mood because he is going on a date with Kenzie, and his friend can easily detect the joy he has. Brooke goes home and meets Todd at the door, leaving. He is there to do some plumbing work, hoping Brooke will be at work and will not see him. She then invites him back inside. While spending time with Todd at home, she has forgotten she made plans with Kenzie, who is checking the time. Kenzie sees a message from an excited Ben reminding her that they are meeting by 7 p.m. While she is texting Ben that she is running late, she receives a message from Brooke to reschedule, and she is excited. She rushes down to the restaurant where Ben is already waiting. Brooke, on the other hand, appears to be connecting back with Todd. While Ben is checking through the menu, Kenzie enters and apologizes for coming late. After their time together, Ben asks her out to a wine opening event, and she is excited to be a plus one for him. She sees this as an opportunity to ask if he is single, and they both realize they are available to mingle. They enjoy their time together as they keep laughing and giggling to themselves. They also talk about Kenzie's work with Brooke, which she is proud of. Ben asks if she has ever thought of having her show. Indeed, she has thought of it. But she is happy with producing the show for Brooke, even though Ben suggests she will be a great host herself. Later that night, Kenzie is speaking with Maya, who suggests she should invite Ben to the Christmas Eve party and she agrees she will do so even though she is worried if he will say yes or no. Later that night, while Kenzie is checking the list of people who have applied to be on a date with Brooke, she sees that Ben is one of the people who applied. This shocks her, and she tells Maya. They both assume he applied because he is into Brooke, and he is trying to use her to get to Brooke. Kenzie's heart is broken, but she insists on still sending him over to Brooke not minding she has a crush on him. The next scene shows Brooke having a live session with one of her dates, but she is not connecting with any of the guys. After the show, she tells Kenzie she does not like any of the guys she has been having dates with and suggests that they should use another gimmick to save the show. Hearing this makes Kenzie suggest that she should please wait for one more day because there is one person left on the list Brooke accepts after much persuasion. Back in her office, Kenzie checks the rating of the show, and it is dropping. 
which means she needs someone good. She puts a call through to Ben and goes straight to asking him to be on the blind date with Brooke without allowing him to speak. When she is done inviting him, she drops the call, making him wonder what the issue is, because he did not understand anything she said. Later at night, Liam is at Ben's house. He admits he is falling in love with Maya. He asks about Ben's mystery girl, and he explains that he has been misreading her reaction. He believes Kenzie has been coming close to him just to check if he is a perfect fit for Brooke. He assumes this is just because of the call he received from her. He is not interested in attending the blind date, but his friend advises him to go since he will be doing his mystery girl a favor. The next day, Ben sees Kenzie at the cafe and walks up to her to talk. However, she focuses the discussion on his date with Brooke, making him further speechless as he now confirms his suspicions. The show starts with Brooke before it is time to invite Ben in for the blind phone date. Kenzie then invites Ben to the show and hands it over to Brooke. They start talking, but Ben doesn't seem interested during the conversation. However, Brooke enjoys every bit of the conversation, but Kenzie is pained and jealous. Every topic Ben raises seems to hurt her more and more, and she has nothing to do about it. After the show, Mark receives a call that Ben has the highest rating, and she should be Brooke's date. Kenzie also calls Ben to inform him that he will be on a live broadcast with Brooke on another date. He keeps trying to confirm if that is what she wants, and she keeps telling him that it is what she wants before ending the call, which still baffles him. On the day of the live interview, Kenzie enters to see Brooke and Ben talking as if it has been a long time since they knew one another. This comes as a shock to her, and she quickly tells them it is time for the show. They all head to the studio, and the live date session starts. All through the show, Kenzie tries to show a fake smile, but deep down, she is not happy with the situation. She feels Ben and Brooke are connecting easily. Meanwhile, the duo keep talking until they lose track of time and Kenzie has to remind them they are done for the day. Brooke ends the show by appreciating Ben for coming and complimenting him that he is a great person. After the show, Brooke goes back into her shell and keeps staring at Todd's pictures while also looking through his online dating account. Kenzie enters and notices her look. She asks about the issue, and she explains that she likes Ben. But the issue is that Ben is not Todd, Kenzie realizes she still likes Todd, but Brooke explains that choosing the show means she will not get him back. Just then, Mark enters and tells them that Ben has been selected to be the winner of the date and that they are already working on a partnership with Ben's company for him to have a show with Brooke. After leaving, Brooke asks for Ben's details from Kenzie so that she can make things real with them. When Maya hears that Ben has been selected for the date, she becomes worried about the feelings her friend has for him. But Kenzie does not admit she has feelings at first. She eventually agrees that she likes him, but she is not going to tell him she has feelings for him because she wants to do what is best for the business. Brooke in her office is also trying to send a message to Todd, but ends up deleting the messages. She still has feelings for him, but she doesn't know how to approach him. Ben receives a call from Mark, who is formally inviting him to their Christmas party that is coming up the next day. Ben is still surprised at how everything is turning out, and just before he is over the situation, Tani enters the building to appreciate his strategy of using the radio station to boast the number of reads on his article, which his partner has taken note of. This matter makes Ben go to Kenzie's office. While he is entering, Kenzie receives a message from Brooke, who asks her if she arranged the date with Ben. He has come to find out if Kenzie will be following him to the wine tasting event, but she says she would rather not follow him. Before going, he makes sure he tells her it is okay for her to follow him. Kenzie then makes the excuse that she is too busy. Later, Kenzie works late that night and also gets commended by Mark on the great work she has done in finding Brooke a date. 
and how Ben has been helping the show. He also did not forget to tell her how important it is for everything to go smoothly and for Brooke's romance to come true. Ben ends up taking his mom to the wine tasting opening. And while they are there, his mom notices his mood and starts asking him what is wrong. Even though he is not ready to open up, she knows him well enough to notice something that is bothering him. She mentions the show because she loves how things are going and how she voted. She then also reveals that she is the one who applied for Ben to be part of the date. Shocked to hear this, he confirms what his mom said and then realizes that the reason Kenzie pushed him to Brooke is because of the application. He appreciates his mom and tells her to help him finish the wine tasting while he runs some errands. He runs straight to Kenzie's office to tell her that his mom has applied. He then confesses his feelings for her and how he does not have to go through with the date for Christmas Eve. Kenzie, however, wants him to go through with it because of what is at stake. She also talks about Mark's plan to use the two as a partnership between their companies, which comes as a shock to him. The more Ben tries to make her see reason with him, the more she pushes him away because she does not want to use her feelings to destroy everything. She then leaves him standing and goes her way. Ben keeps wondering what the issue is and how hard it is for her to understand him and give them a chance. Kenzie, however, bursts into tears because she is pushing away the man she loves. While Kenzie is going to work the next day, she sees Todd and they start talking. This is when she realizes that Todd has not been dating online and the account was created as a joke by his friend. Later at work, Maya comes to her friend asking what she will wear to dinner. She seems lost in thought. So, she shares the situation with Maya and she tells her not to tell Brooke if she doesn't want her to be cut out based on the information she hears. Ben, on the other hand, is rated as the next partner in his company by Liam because of the deal with the D-How. Liam sees he is not excited, so he tries to encourage him. Kenzie enters Brooke's office and they start talking. Brooke shares that it was the same Christmas Eve she met Todd and they had always gone out every year since then. This always makes her fall in love with him the most, but she has let her soulmate slip away because of her career. She starts shedding tears. Then she wipes off the tears and apologizes for dumping her emotions on Kenzie. Later that night, Kenzie sent a text to Brooke about the reservation she had for her as a pre-Christmas celebration at the place where she used to have dates with her husband yearly. When Brooke gets there, she realizes the date is set up for her and Todd. Ben also receives a call from Kenzie that his date with Brooke has been canceled. He tells Liam that he does not want to go to the dinner, but Liam convinces him to go and take it as a Christmas party. Ben refuses to leave because he does not want to be the third man with Liam and Maya. Meanwhile, Todd and Brooke finally decide to resume their relationship. After realizing that the time is far away, they decide to go to dinner. The dinner starts. Brooke is supposed to come in immediately after him, but since she is not there yet, Kenzie goes ahead to start the show with the fact that she has a plan different from what was originally planned. She starts the show and takes it to a new turn. She reveals that Brooke did not want to go on the date, which she pushed her to. Just then, Brooke enters with Todd to declare that they are back together. She also appreciates Kenzie for doing her best to save the show. She announces that she is not having a date, but someone needs a date. Ben walks in to be Kenzie's date. Brooke has seen the way they look at one another and already knows they have feelings for one another. Ben walks up to Kenzie, who is surprised, but happy to have him as her date. They end up kissing emotionally, and people celebrate them. The show ends with two couples on the stage. Although Mark is not happy with how the show started, the end is beautiful, and he cannot complain. Mark and Brooke end up offering Kenzie her show, which will come up interchangeably with Brooke's show. She happily accepts the offer. The end of the movie shows Ben and Kenzie repeating the event that happened the first time they met at the door. 
After entering the office, Kenzie starts her show, while Ben is waiting for her outside the studio. Brooke and Todd, however, are home enjoying their time together.